Watson was the youngest in a family of acrobats known as the Flying Graysons. Their death-defying act was all that kept the circus where they performed in business. As the people of Gotham clamoured for tickets to the show, the mob came looking for their cut. After the circus owner refused them, mobsters killed Dick's parents during a packed performance attended by Bruce Wayne. Wanting to, pr to protect the devastating the bad, bad, bad. Wanting to protect the devastated orphan, Bruce took Dick under his wing and came his leg became his legal guardian, eventually entrusting the boy with his greatest secret. Desperate to help his fam his friend and mentor, Dick trained hard to become Robin, patrolling Gotham at patrolling Gotham at Batman's side. Ah! Now an adult, Dick fights crime as on his own on his own as the vigilante called Nightwing, and therefore he became such a badass. Scarecrow. No one has seen Jonathan Crane, aka Scarecrow, since he was attacked by Killer Croc in the sewers of Arkham Asylum. Some say he some say he escaped certain death by dragging what was left of himself into a Titan container and floating out to sea, while others believe he was eaten by Croc. Undeterred, Batman spent months searching for Crane, refusing to believe that he was he is dead. If Crane is out there plotting his revenge on Batman, then Batman knows Gotham will never truly be safe. And he was right. Barry did on Sunday. On a dark and stormy night in the late 19th century, a merchant named Cyrus Gold was murdered and dumped in the, the swamps near the emerging Gotham City. As the body sunk into the pit, it was exposed to an unusual chemical in the swamp which miraculously reanimated the merchant. He set out wandering the streets of Old Gotham, unable to remember his name, and only able to recite the nursery rhyme, Solomon Grundy. <clears throat> Seemingly able to cheat death, the undead man, now called Solomon Grundy, was captured and ruthlessly experimented on. Determined to discover what had brought Grundy back to life, it became apparent that the creature was now immortal, due to a combination of the swamp chemicals and the storm that raged on the night of his death. Oh, I lost my place. Where is it? Oh, there it is. <coughs> Buried on a Sunday, two of two. As the army moved through the condemned wonder city searching for stragglers, no one expected what lay in Ra Rachel Gould's private medical laboratory. For months, Solomon Grundy had been exposed to the Lazarus chemical and then repeatedly electrocuted. He had died a dozen times, but each time he was brought back for more. While the soldiers debated what he even was, Grundy revived again and killed everyone nearby. Mentally broken by his ordeal, he waited at the lab for the doctors to return and murder him again. That is rather sad. Talia's guard. Even though she is a fearsome warrior in her own right, as Rachel Ghoul's daughter, Talia is always shadowed by a secret order, a secretive order of highly trained female protectors known as the Elite Guard. Each individual guard is chosen generations in advance and trained and trained from birth to be the best of the best, easily capable of holding her own against a hundred men. Scarface. Oh, not quite ready yet. Blah blah blah. Wonder City Two or Three. Here we are. What else do we have? Seismic disturbances. Just weeks before Arkham City was due to due to open for business, the streets and roads of the northeast in the northeast of the facility were devastated by a series of unexplained seismic incidents. The largest the large scale subsidence left the street level of of the entire district in Bethesda. The large scale subsidence left the street level of an of an entire district submerged underwater. Campaigners opposed to Hugo Strange's superprison demanded further investigation into the cause of the disturbances, arguing that this was further proof that the area was unfit for basic humanitarian grounds. However, Strange vetoed plans for an inquiry on his land. He provided his own experts to demonstrate that the seismic activity was a one-off event and maintained that the inmates had given up their rights to any decent standard of living. Gordon vs. Sharp. As the plans for Arkham City became public knowledge, Commissioner Gordon, incensed at having never been cons incensed at n not having been consulted consulted over Ma Mayor Sharp's decision. Oh my God! I'm just stumbling over everything. Attempted to block construction with the court order. He failed. The commissioner called on Batman and explained that he suspected 
that he suspected corruption at the highest levels of Sharp's administration. <laughs> well, no shit. After losing his case against... Uh, after losing his case against Mayor Sharp, Gordon was summoned to City Hall. Sharp tried to reason with Gordon, explaining that Arkham City would be something they could both be proud of, but Gordon held his ground. Sharp calmly stated that he understood Gordon's position and expected Gordon to quietly resign. Furious, Gordon stormed out. He might have resigned if he, if he hadn't been talked out of it by Batman. Batman suggested ta attacking Mayor Sharp in Arkham City with a public campaign, headed not by Gordon, but someone with the money and profile needed to win popular support. Someone like Bruce Wayne. Oh, not yet. A killer in the sewers. In order to remove Waylon Jones, aka Killer Croc, from the sewers below b below Arkham Asylum, Strange ordered a squad of t Tiger Guards to lure him out using body parts from deceased inmates. Although this strategy strategy proved unsuccessful, the team was able to subdue Croc when he emerged from the sewers looking for food once the supply of bodies had run out. Mad Hatter, one of two. Disgusted at the crimes Jervis Tetch committed in the guise of the Mad Hatter, Quincy Sharp decreed that Tetch should never be, should never see the outside world again. For months, Tetch was locked in solitary confinement deep in the bowels of Arkham Asylum's maximum security wing. Locked up in the dark without his hats, his tea, and most importantly, his Alice, Tetch's mind crumbled. Professor Hugo Strange became fascinated by Tetch's case, taking particular interest in Tetch's mind control experiments. Strange manipulated security procedures, allowing him full access to Tetch behind the warden's back. Naughty. If Hugo Strange's plans were going to work, he needed a way to control Quincy Sharp. Having worked with Tetch for months, he had refined and perfected a psychoactive compound that would make anyone who ingested it more malleable and open to suggestion. The next day, Strange invited Sharp to join him for tea in his office in the administration building. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Okay. Oh, and as a matter of fact, we have some uh, Mad Hatter tapes. So I'll just uh, let you sit back and enjoy those. Patient interview one. Subject's name, Jervis Tetch, a.k.a. the Mad Hatter. Brought to Arkham Asylum by the Batman six months ago. Patient exhibits signs of obsessive compulsion and paranoid schizophrenia. Sit down, Mr. Tetch. But there's no time to sit. I need Alice. Where is my Alice? Please. No time to sit, not time to chat. I'm searching for Alice and I've lost my head. Guard, restrain Mr. Tetch. Get off me. Get off me. I'm late. I'm running out of time, Alice. Where are you? Alice isn't here yet. Just relax, Jervis. She will be here soon. <laughs> I promise. Well, but where? Now. Is Alice here yet? No, I'm afraid not. Let us talk while we wait. You and I have much in common, Jervis. Really? Do you know Alice too? Unfortunately not. You and I both share an interest in the mind, do we not? I studied your papers, Jervis. You are quite brilliant. Truly an extraordinary mind. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's all just chemicals and synapses and rabbits and... Oh, where is Alice? You need to focus. Think about your work for a minute. You theorize that there is no such thing as free will, that you can change a man's allegiances, his motives, emotions, all of what we believe makes a man with chemicals. Your formula was really quite brilliant. That's why I used it. Well, how, how did you get it? Did Alice give it to you? <gasps> Wicked girl. Nasty little thing. Is she here yet? Soon, Jervis, soon. Is she? Oh, you 
told me that Alice would be here. She is, Jervis. She's right here. Alice? Alice, come out. Don't pout. Don't make me shout. Alice, come out. Where are you? Take a look at the pictures, Jervis. Oh, oh, who are these people? Look again. Oh, I, 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 I don't know who they are. Oh, please, is Alice here or not? Look at the first picture. Look at the dress she is wearing. Look at the hair. It's Alice, isn't it? No, no, no. It can't be Alice. Alice has nice yellow hair. And isn't covered in blood. I think you know exactly who this is, Mr. Tetch. I think you remember the night you lured Stephanie Williams back to your research lab. How you offered her tea. What happened then? No, no, no. You killed her, no. didn't you? No. She went no. first. It's okay, Jervis. It's all right to remember. How many Alices were there? I, I can't remember. <laughs> Well, Alice isn't coming, is she? That all depends on how you cooperate. I have a little side project that I'm working on. I could use your help. My help? I can't help. I'll be late. Stay focused, Jervis. This facility is old, tired, full of ghosts. Ghosts? A figure of speech. Do not worry. Arkham Asylum will not exist forever. Its techniques are old, its mission outdated. I intend to create a new Arkham, an Arkham that will rise phoenix-like from the ashes of this one. Is there a fire? We should get out of here. I have arranged for some documents to be left in your cell. They outline a technique I propose to control the mind of... Uh, Shall we just say, weaker souls? I cannot do it without rabbits. I need rabbits for my research and tea and... And Alice, I know. I have arranged for a number of test subjects to be at your disposal. They have been here at Arkham for so many years that no one will miss them. Shall we meet again next week? Oh, and I took the liberty of having your hats returned. I assume that will provide all the encouragement you require. Well done, well done. I must say you have outperformed even my wildest expectations. Yes, did you see the people at my tea party? They all behaved themselves. <laughs> yes, they did, Jervis. I'm very pleased. I have just one last request to make of you. You must keep it a secret. Can you keep a secret, Jervis? With enough hats, I can stop people remembering secrets. Does that count? It will have to. I need you to pay a visit to Warden Sharp. He needs to come around to my way of thinking. <gasps> to join our tea party? Exactly. I don't want to. Of course you do. How else will you get to play with Alice? Oh, what? I have a new assistant for you, Jervis. I had her brought in specially. Look at her. She's just through there. Oh, it's Alice. She's here. No, no, what are you doing? I need to see her. And you can, as soon as you do what I asked. Can I keep her? Of course. She'll be all yours. She's Alice. Oh my goodness, that's creepy as all hell. Ugh. I don't know who's sicker. <laughs> Strange or, or Hatter. Ooh. Very disturbing. Very good, but very disturbing. Alright. I think we've dilly dally long enough. Let's get ourselves to the steel mill and get our fucking cure. Oh, 